Hey everyone, it's now Monday after work um, and I'm having a little trouble with the tractor. I was hauling in uh, big round bales and I was piling them up too high with this David Brown back here at the trip bucket and uh, I had a little issue. I got uh, six in the barn and then uh, when I brought from another field a few days later I was revving 1800 down the, um, the road here and I pulled into the barn and my I idled down my oil light came on. So we're going to put an oil pressure sensor in here, a uh, gauge, because all we have is a, a light and you can't tell what the oil pressure is. So before I condemn it, I want to confirm it. And on this David Brown, the oil pressure sending unit's right here. Um, this may take me a few nights to do it anyway. Shouldn't. Let's, let's make sure she's in. Uh, now I used to tell some other people I changed oil, like Ron Vidman uh, 008, that I changed my oil every. 300k, uh, 300 hours. That's not true, really. I bought this tractor had 4,500 hours on it. Um, I've changed oil four or five times now, and it's only got 4,700 hours. So you figure it out. <laughs> anyway, I'm just. I listen to my buddies with uh, farmers. They say uh, 300 hours on their big tractors, but it's anyway. Regardless, so there's a oil change light right there. Usually it takes a few seconds to go out. We're gonna let it run here for a little while and uh, I'm actually gonna pull over by the tank and uh, we'll let it warm up and see if it flickers again. It takes a few minutes the first time you use a hydraulic to get they come up. I don't know why, it must have air in it low hydraulics but for uh, $1,400 I paid for the old girl, it's, uh, it's a tractor, it's paid for itself I guess by now. now I'm going to let that idle like that for 10-15 uh, minutes and we'll come back and see what the oil pressure light is on or not. I know it's hard to hear the bottom end with a diesel. I need to put the oil gauge on it, but uh, that's not going to happen tonight. Looks like we're going to get rain. Let's do that another night. Okay, the dreaded flickering oil light. If I go any lower than 8, 700 RPM, it gets warmer, it gets worse. It all up goes away. Until it gets really hot, then it stays on. Okay, so we're going to unplug it. Go in here with a 5 8 wrench. Um, and clean around it before I pull it out all the way and then we're going to put our fitting in there with a pressure gauge and see what we have at idle. I hope the guy I got a fitting that fits that. Okay, I'm going to go through this kit here and see if I have the same thread. Being British, it's probably just metric, I'm not sure. I have a whole bunch of fittings here, so uh, sort this out. Kind of looks like the one that's on it already. And we'll get right back to you. Okay, I don't know if I can do this with one hand or not. But what I did to figure out was the right size before I screwed it in. Um, held it up. The diameter is exactly the same. And then I held the threads up together. I don't know if you can see that. Kids in the background the pool. Um, I'll get a better shot of this. Held it up and made sure the pitch of the threads were the same. Oh, it's showing that or not. Right there. Hard to, hard to see in one hand, anyway. It does match. Okay, with the tractor restarted at idle, with the light was flickering, we have 50 pounds of idle, so that's really good. Let's rev it up, or idle it down a little bit. Where I knew it was flickering right about there somewhere. Like that. We still have 50 PSI. So, let's rev it up a bit. 1,600. Alright, so that's a huge relief because I thought I was uh, my tractor was done for 
and uh, I don't have the money to replace it or fix it so uh, yeah so that's good um, at least it's something simple as a switch maybe I can just get a switch I'd rather have a gauge in it though I don't like these uh, oil pressure lights same with the charge you can never tell what they're doing um, I had to replace oil pressure uh, temperature sensor gauge years ago because I was bush hogging with it and my coolant the rad, bottom rad hose let go um, and I could see flames coming up from around here it got so hot it started the grease on fire on top of the manifold I never heard it but after that I stuck a fire extinguisher on the the damn thing but anyway so yeah so at least that's good I'm gonna put an oil pressure gauge on it if you find the right fitting and then over the winter hopefully I'll gather the parts to switch this to a hydraulic bucket and get rid of this whole front thing and put my other I got a full size bucket over there there and add down pressure here um, I'm thinking about putting a front pump on this run this separate because the hydraulics on the David Brown are slow uh, and that way it could run power steering too I don't think it'd be much to put power steering as far as I remember you can buy an aftermarket ramrod that hooks onto here and then the frame or maybe I can take some off a of 990 that'll fit but anyway yeah that's the plans for this um, hopefully and maybe this winter I'll buy some tires for it since it's still good so I just replaced the two front steer tires not too long ago actually spring of the year that one I still got the nubs on it find my grill I should build a bush bar for this anyway guys as always, please comment, rate, and subscribe. I always get a kick out of reading everybody's comments, and I gotta remember to stop looking at the screen on the side and look directly into the camera. <laughs> anyway, a uh, little update on the wife. We're just waiting uh, for September 27th when she goes in for a stem cell. So right now she's going back and forth to Kingston every week to get her chemo treatments to keep her in remission. Um, I think in about another month she goes in for a bunch of tests and after that's done it's a month wait after so she should be home uh, once she goes in anywhere from four to six weeks it only takes five days to kill her white blood cells off and replace them with their sisters she has two matches which is unbelievable she only has two sisters one half sister so that's three sisters all together but anyway it has to be a genetic match um, that's why you can't use the parents or anything it works better that way so yeah, so get that done. She should be home for Christmas. Hopefully it works. <laughs> I hope. Anyway, yeah, it will work. So can't talk like that. You gotta think positive all the time. Anyway, guys, remember, please comment, read, and subscribe. I think I said that already, but anyway, talk to you guys later.